Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Excel VBA videos, we are going to see an important feature of Microsoft Excel through the Visual Basic Coding. So in today's video, the feature that we are going to see helps us to adjust the width and the heights of the cells. When we are talking about the width, then it refers to the columns. That is why the whole term that we get over here is known as the column width. And if you just go to any cell and try to drag it towards the right or towards the left, then you can see there is this kind of an option that you get over here, which tells you about the uh, current width in points and in pixels. So that is what we can uh, just adjust right now using the stylus so this is the column width and similarly if you go to these row numbers written like one two and you can uh, adjust the height of the rows as well so this is how you can uh, adjust the rows height and the width of the columns but this is exactly what we are going to see with the help of the visual basic code that how can we uh, adjust or manipulate it as per our choice according to the visual basic code okay so before going into that, let's see that what is actually the significance of it. Suppose you are in the cell A1 and you write any data. Uh, I write here like textual data over here. And now if I come to the next cell, that is cell number B. Okay, right now it's all visible, but I come to cell B1 and I try to type some other data. Like I type programming knowledge over here. Okay, and when I press tab, then what happens is now all of the contents of the cell A1 are not visible to me. Only those are visible which fall within the width of the column or the cell A1. Okay, similarly, if I type something in the cell C1, then same thing happens with the contents of the cell B1. So this is something that needs to be addressed. And that is why we need to just adjust the widths of the cells so that whole of the data is visible by dragging them over here like this. Okay. And using this, we can get a custom width or if you want, uh, you can just increase the width to around this much, but this space is left. So if you want your uh, column to be fitted automatically, then you can just double click over here. And now the cell B1 is containing an automatic width. Okay, the width is auto selected similarly for the cell A1 as well. So that was about the column width and similarly about the column uh, or the row height. If you just uh, come here and try to add some contents which span through multiple lines. So how can you do that? First of all, uh, we have already read about it. So there is a shortcut called Alt and Enter. If you press that shortcut, you would be able to enter multiple lines of text in the same cell. Suppose you try to add like uh, a YouTube channel. So you write YouTube in this line and then you again press Alt Enter and then you write say channel. Okay. And then you press Enter. Then you can see that the row height has been uh, fitted automatically. Why? Because wrap text is um, enabled. If you can just disable wrap text, then you can see that the uh, row height is now not adjusted. You got to double click over here to uh, just adjust it or what you can do is just increase the row height like this to enable it so that is what happens over here okay uh, so in this video we are exactly going to understand that how using the visual basic code we can adjust the column width and the row height firstly using the custom options that is if we give a custom number then what happens and then how can we auto fit the height of the rows and the width of the columns? So let's start. First of all, we need to go to the VBA editor. So press the shortcut key Alt F11 and your VBA editor would be here. Let us just adjust our Excel sheet so that both of the screens are visible now to you. Okay. Now, first of all, what we are going to do is insert a new macro. So go to the insert tab and insert a new module. Let's rename it to say uh, cell dimensions like this. And let's just create a sub procedure for the purpose. 
now i'm giving it a name as cell dimensions but it's totally up to you you can give it any name that you want then open and close the parenthesis and press enter to make sure that vb understands this as a sub procedure now once you are happy with it let's start with a procedure so let's just uh, decrease the width and the heights okay so first of all we need to refer to that particular cell whose height or width we want to manipulate uh, we are currently uh, working on the cell width first or the column width so let us uh, work with the column width only and then after completing this section we would move to the row height okay so when we are referring to any cell uh, we first need to use a function through which we can get that particular cell and an important function that we get is a range function so just type in range open the parenthesis within double quotes you need to write the name of the cell right now we are concerning ourselves with cell a1 so just write cell a1 uh, and just close the double quotes close the parenthesis and put a dot this will allow you to access all the properties or the methods associated with the range function so let us uh, just search for a property called column width so if you just type c o l then you can get this column width property you can put a tab then put an equal sign now using this property you can give a custom number and according to that number your column width would be adjusted okay so let us give a number say 50 and let's try to run it and you can see that now your column width has changed to 50 now if you just uh, come here over here and try to drag it then you can see that your width is near 50 or your width is exactly 50 when you are at this point which means that yes you can select its width over here and the pixelated value is completely different that is 355 that means you cannot manipulate the pixelated value okay so um that's how you can give a number but what about its range uh, since we are giving a number so there must be some kind of a range within which we can give numbers so let's uh, see for that fact suppose you just turn it to a zero then what happens is your column would not be visible anymore because its uh, width is zero but still it is existing over there okay which means yes you can give zero as a width it would not be visible but yes zero is a possible value however if you try to give a negative number like say minus 1 or say minus 10 is what i gave and if i click on run then i will get an error like this that this is beyond the range of the column width function so you can just end it that means you cannot give negative values to it all you can give is positive values but what is the upper limit for the positive values the upper limit is 255 if you try to give it as 255 then what happens is and you run it then you can see that your column a has a uh, been turned into this much of white uh, width column you can see it's too much wide right now so that's 255 okay but what if you try to give it a value of 256 that is beyond the range and if you try to run it then again we will get an error So that is about the range. The possible values for the column width property are zero to two fifty five. Okay. Now this is one method through which you can select the width of the columns, but there are more than one methods. There is not just a single method. There are different methods. Suppose uh, you want to use some other method, then how can you use it? For all of the methods, one thing that is common is the range, and within uh, double quotes the cell number or the cell name because it is used to refer to that cell so it's going to be the same or common part for all of these functions so let us just type range a1 put a dot now what we are going to do is the second method says that you have to first make sure that what you want to manipulate since we want to manipulate the width of the column now width of the column is associated with the column property of the cell so we need to access the column property first so just associate yourself with this column property you can see column is written put a tab then put a dot and then in column you can just access the columns property 
this columns property put a dot and then you get to search for the same property that is column width now uh, using this method also you can uh, change the width of the columns to a custom number and its range also is from 0 to 255 okay so let us say uh, keep it as 200 and let me just change it to 100 so that it is a possible value it is a valid value and now if i just use a step into function f8 then first of all the width of the column would change to 100 so let's just extend it and see now it is uh, 100 now if you just uh, change it once again like this you again press f8 then what happens is the width will increase and it would change to 200 now you can see it has increased to around 200 so uh, that's how you can just change the width of the columns the rest of the things, uh, there are some more methods through which we can manipulate the width of the columns and about the row height also, we have some data we are going to discuss in the next video. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching.